Hello everybody, Isens here, and uh, a lot of you guys have been asking me how I made the Horror Pro intro. So um, I decided to make a tutorial um, to show you how I did. I'm going to have it in two parts. One is basically the editing with Sony Vegas and stuff like that. And the first part that we're going to see now is how to work in Cinema 4D and what I did in Cinema 4D. So uh, you will need one plugin though. You'll need Griebler. It's uh, you can get it for free, I'm sure, on the internet if you want. Um, it's very easy to download, and um, I can make an external tutorial to show you how to download plugins if you want. It's very simple. But um, so let's just start off here. Um, I have this uh, Lightroom I made. Um, I'll have it in the descriptions, um, so you can use it if you want. Um, yeah. So anyway, let's start. So we have this scene here, and I'm just gonna take another name. Just, I'm just gonna write jazz. And uh, yeah, let's just change a different, f change it to a different font. And uh, just keep in mind that uh, when Grupal comes on, some lag might start since it's a very complicated um, plugin. But I will definitely do my best to make it happen. Okay, so now let's try again. Okay, so let's find a good one. There's so many fonts. This is crazy. Um, let's go up here. Let's see if this one's good. Yeah, it's fine enough. Okay, so uh, now I have the mode text. Let's just leave this. And uh, we want to make some kind of texture. Um, I basically just made this texture that I, I spent some time on but uh, you can use whatever you want um, and I yeah so basically I'll also have this color or texture if you want to say it in in the description uh, with the uh, light room so basically you can just go to color double click here and go to color and uh, change to whatever color you want I suggest just changing it up here I will uh, yeah let's just take a purple for this tutorial, a purplish one like that, that's good. And specular also needs to be changed to purple. Okay. Now we'll take a second. Okay, it's ready now. So let's just go up here and we click and we wanna, well, it's already cubic, but basically, if it's not cubic, you wanna click here. It's usually at UV, W mapping, as far as I think. Uh, so and you just basically want it to be cubic. Now that we have this, uh, we might just want to uh, decrease the size of this text since it's pretty big. What about that's good enough? Okay, so now we're ready to get started. So basically, we just want to click here on the mold text, and we want to go up to plugins. Then we want to have Griebler go on plugin Griebler and then the first Griebler that you see the blue one you click and you go like this you you take the mode text let's just do it again you take some mode text and you drag it until this arrow and uh, square comes and you click and that will enable the Griebler now basically what I did for this guy I didn't do so much but I change. You want to go. Okay, I'll do it again. You want when you go in Griebler, you want to go to a uh, base. If you just want a basic uh, to change how it looks. And uh, here I have this settings. I'm just gonna change it a bit to make it a bit more unique, if you can say it like that. And uh, I just have 25 on each side. Now this might be a lot, but uh, remember that. We will change it in the end when it comes down here at 90 frames or something, and it'll look normal. Just have it this effect. If you want, we can add some greebles like this. We can also make some subdivisions. Now that will divide each text into different subdivisions 
and uh, it will give a nice effect then we might just want to change this these stuff uh, let's change it back to 10 it looks a bit overblown now yeah that looks good it looks uh, very very good actually um, let's see stock shapes okay so we can add some shapes if we want and yeah you can do a lot with this program I'm just gonna go over this basic thing so now that we have this it's good enough for the tutorial sake um, we're gonna click rem click here and hold control down and click and then we're gonna make a keyframe at zero which you'll make automatically then we'll go over to base and we'll keyframe this and this and this and this and I'll make a keyframe and then we will uh, where is it we'll also highlight all of these okay okay so now we have that now we're just gonna go basically to 90 um, frames that's 30 th every 30 frames that counts as one second so 90 frames is three seconds it should be fine and then I'm just basically just gonna click here and I'm gonna make everything zero everything you can see that uh, slowly the sex is changing then once that's done I'm just gonna highlight them again and it'll create a new keyframe like that and also on base go back to zero 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 and highlight it again and the last one we're just gonna make this zero and click so now it's basically as it was before with it's dis disabled all the mechanisms that made the group now basically we can see if we just go back you can see it's slowly changing it's it's changing from a uh, from the greeble to normal and um, if you want to make a clean a clean a smooth transition you want to click on these small squares here and go up to spline and click linear you also want to do that at the end and I'll make it all uh, go in the same pace so now we have that done now we want to we want to move the text so it kind of comes in while it's transforming. So it's pretty simple this. We just go out of the camera and we go on 90 frames. Click on mode text. And then we make a keyframe here. And then we go back to zero. And this might lag on your computer. I know I don't have the best computer. I'm going to get a new computer soon. So bear with me for the time being. But uh, anyway, we're just going to drag it outside the camera view. Let go and see where it is. Okay, that's fine. And we want it, I want it coming from, oh, sorry, that's too much. I want it coming from, yeah, I want it coming from up, um, from the upper part of the camera. So basically just drag it up, let go, and uh, where you think it will fit perfect then you want to make a keyframe again now it will go it will make this transition it will slowly get over to the right place while it is changing but it's just it's not good enough it's a bit boring we need some a bit one more effect to uh, make complete so uh, just before we do that we want to go over to these squares again and again make them linear if you look at the lines here, you will see that when I click on this one and change the spline to linear, it will change, the dots will change to um, equal uh, spacing between each dot, which is what you want. So now we have the mode text um, done, but we want, we want some, uh, make it a bit more exciting. So basically just click here on mode text and you want to go to mode graph and you want to go to a factor and go to random now this is a really really good tool 
um, for making a bit more special stuff where if they can turn the letters turn and are separated so um go back to zero and then click on random then you see this will automatically come up with this transform part now I just basically leave it as it is this but you can change this I think 50 is fine but you want to click on rotation and then change it to whatever you want I'm just gonna type in some random number numbers to always keep it random <laughs> Um, one, twenty one. Yeah, that's fine. So now, when you've done that, and you've got the look you want, you basically just highlight again. You can actually just click. Yeah, you highlight all of these, and it'll make the keyframe as you can see here. Then we want to go over to ninety, where we want the transition to end. And as the Greek blur, we just click zero, zero, zero. Zero, <laughs> zero, zero, like that. Okay, and now we'll just basically highlight them again, and it'll make a new keyframe. We again do the same thing by clicking on the little square, going to spline, clicking the linear, and then going on zero. Oh. Good clicking again. Okay, well that's fine then. It works fine, but that's basically what you should do. I don't know. Why well, doesn't want to? But um, okay. So now we have a even better transition, I think, where the text is kind of a weird, weirdly turned, and then suddenly it just it falls into place. You can see it slowly goes into the right spot, and that's really, really nice effect to have. So now once we've done this, um. Yeah, we basically just want maybe another mode text down. I'll try to make it a bit fast this part. Um, so here, click on mode text and type in whatever you want. Of course, I'm just gonna type um, what's your type? Um, I'm just gonna write this. Uh, best content on YouTube. Okay. Now this is good enough. Then we're just gonna change the font. And what do you uh, with the Horde Bro intro? I am. Um, I made another one of these. I will show you how to do this. It's very very simple. But then you want to go up here and scale it. Let's just scale it down so it's small or not that small. But like yeah, like that small. That's maybe too big. A bit smaller like that now we want to move it and I like moving it in the middle you can do whatever you want and putting it under here but uh, I don't want it to be in the same space uh, place as the other one I want it to be moved back here you can press blue one be moved like not like in the middle of the, the text so yeah like that and um, so now we have this text, um, but we want we want a, a different instead of just having two purple textures, we want a different texture, but without the the biggest hassle. So instead of doing a whole new texture, what I basically just did was I clicked hold control and I clicked and dragged this purple one. That copies the texture in two, and then I double clicked that one and I basically. I wanted it to be like a like a black grayish thing so I basically just made everything at the same color scheme you can see here so it, it might not be perfect but then you just tr kind of follow this line that's what I do it doesn't need to be extremely perfect but like that and you just you do the same with the three ones just try to follow with the line that's made for it uh like that or you can customize it, of course be more creative if you want and we'll just have to wait a second until it's okay now it's done um and we go up to motex the second motex and see now this happens so basically you, you want to click on the texture and where it says uvw mapping click it and go to cubic as i said then you get a much better 
field, but it's a bit too big because it's actually meant for like big projects, if you can say so. So basically, just click on it, and here it says length and width. No, length U and length V. Basically, just uh, make it smaller. I'll just say 25% on each, both. It's and now it will be more fitted for, more suitable for that size of text. So now we have this, um, but it's only three seconds long, and the text just is always there. The best of the best on YouTube content on YouTube uh, text. So go over here where it says 90 frames, and you want to click and change it to whatever you want. I'm just gonna have 300 frames. Keep in mind that each frame takes time to render, so if you want a, a faster render with good quality and you, you don't want it to be like 10 minutes, just change the frames and uh, you'll make sure not to waste your time. So now I'll actually have to render 300 frames before it's done, but it's fine. Um, so now we have this. So I want it. I want the best content on YouTube to start when jazz is is kind of finished. Maybe just give it a breathing room of one second. So uh, I'll go over to 120 and I'll make a keyframe. No, sorry. I will. Uh, I'll, I'll go over. So if it got three, took three seconds for the jazz. I'll just also get three seconds for the other text. So we're just gonna go three seconds. 150. 180, 210, 210, bam, okay, that's three seconds. So then we just make a keyframe to make sure that it is at this position at 210. And then we go back to 120 and we click on this little square and get the camera at a different view. And then we just basically drag it up. Now I want this one to basically also come a bit from down, from a down, angle and uh, so like that is fine I wanna do like this and uh, I also just wanted it to be a bit more interesting and instead of it just coming in in a boring way oh by the way we need to change one thing and uh, a good thing to always do is save your projects to, uh, like in the middle so now you see it's starting to lag to make sure that I don't lose it I'll just save it as uh, call it jazz intro Oh, intro and save it at my desktop like that okay so that's all it's very important to do to make sure you don't lose anything now you can see it's, if I look at it it's very small it's only like 2.4 centimeters that's way too small so I'm just gonna change it to like 15 centimeters it'll be a bit bigger and uh, a bit more a bit better if you can say so um so now we have this done maybe just 20 20 is good yeah so now we're back at 120 let me just see if i actually made the key yeah i did so again just highlight this little square that you see or click on it and go to spline and linear and spline and linear, linear wait a second like this okay so I also want the random part for this one so I could of course use this but I, I just want to use a new random so I'll go to more graph effect your random again and then I will here at 120 I will uh, do the same but at the different so like uh, 75 90 and uh, 101 you can customize this of course if you want I'm just doing it a bit quick for the tutorial's sake but uh, highlight them again as I told you before oh it didn't want to work okay like this and also this perfect then we just want to go over to 210 again one is in the right spot like this and we want to change everything to zero back to zero again let make it uh, normal like this. Highlight it again, and just click here, and go to spline linear, as I told you, and spline linear. Okay, 
Now we have this done, it's actually good enough, I would say. Um, and the rest with the flares and stuff can be rendered after. Uh, let's just say we want it to go out the same way that it came in. Uh, we can just we can do that later. But so I want it's too complicated. This is too uh, random. I don't understand what's going on here. So if you want to fix this, basically you can just make a group. I like to go on MoGraph and make a group like this, and then drag my stuff into a group um, and it'll work the same way it'll just be organized and I'll call the group um, best content on YouTube and I'll organize it that way and then I'll go to the other ones highlight them go to MoGraph effector go to group highlight them by clicking uh, shift by the way and just clicking on both going on group again oh dragging it in like this yeah and then we want to double click it and I'll just call it uh, jazz sex okay now we have this if we can't see this we can just drag this down like this if we want okay now we have these groups and it's a bit more organized I understand what's going on so mm, let's just say that we want it just to go out they just both go out let's just say they they maybe don't turn they maybe just yeah maybe just go up in the air or go through through to the camera that's good enough so so basically we just we find out we give it some time to breathe where people can actually see what's going on so let's just say so if it's everybody can see it at 210 we will then have to take maybe three seconds again of breathing room so 210 is 220 30 240 270 that's two and three hundred so actually it should it should go at three hundred so then we click on jazz text we uh, make a keyframe now when it's in the group the everything that's in this group will then have that keyframe on let me go on best content on YouTube and we just also make one more keyframe now it will be set at this position at three hundred frames so that's good enough and we happen to it um, then we go and we maybe change this this frame these frames to like 330 give it a second to go out then basically we want to um, by the way see a problem that some people get actually it's not a problem f now but if you want if you want this uh, this text to be invisible if you can say it like that you basically just want to go to mo text and you want to go to basic go to default make a keyframe before you want it to uh, make a keyframe before you want it to to appear then go to default click it off highlight them both then go to the frame where you want to make it visible and then click the default and then highlight them and that's uh, a very good way to keep it away from the camera um, but anyway, so now we're at 300, and we've made keyframes, and uh, we just want to go to go out the same way, so we just highlight them both, or we can actually just make a group, but uh, but whatever. I'll just have it like this: highlight them, then we want to go to 330, and we basically just drag over here. I'll just do a simple drag, and wait, it didn't want to work. Okay, let's try again. Yeah, okay, so that's fine, I guess. That's fine. Uh oh, I'm. It looks like I've. Looks like I've taken the wrong. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Oh, that's not so good. Okay, so let's just get that way. So accidentally. Actually, we can do it a better way. I accidentally <laughs> took the lights, which we don't want to change, of course. So put in random set like that. Okay, that was a big mistake. Um, so let's just highlight it. Is it highlight it again? Okay, 330. We just highlight them both with shift and, and click, and then we just take them back here like that. It's fine. Okay, and we make a keyframe again. Then we remember to right click, click linear, go here and if we can hit it yeah and click linear now they're both 
good. And uh, if we want it to be a bit more interesting than just going out, basically we can just make these into one group. One more group. And we'll call this group, uh, we'll call this group intro, I guess. Or text, maybe. Text. Then we'll click on text and we'll go to mo graph, go on effector and go on random again. And this time, it should affect both. Otherwise, see, it looks like it's only affecting one, which I don't know why. So let's just say, okay, if it's too much of a problem, we'll just do it the old fashioned way, which is also good. <laughs> so basically, we just highlight them or click on these plus bars and make them uh, appear. And then basically, we just click, we go to 310. 310 and this is what I mean with if you don't have the best computer it might start to lag a bit also I'm of course running the recorder program that might also affect the whole scene but um so now we want to click on random and click on the other random by holding control and clicking then we have those and we'll just make another keyframe here and we will make sure We'll go to a factor. Da, da, da. Nope. Whoa. Parameter serve. Parameter. And here where it's zero everywhere, we just highlight it again. Everything highlighted. Um, and it'll highlight each one, so that's good. And then we just basically go to 330 and we change it to whatever. 50, 50 is always a good one to have, I guess, like this. A little change and we just change this again to any random number if you want or again you can be more use more time on it I'll just say 56 okay and then we highlight it again it'll make its own keyframe uh, I <laughs> press didn't press properly I guess like this and it will create its own keyframe we just click here it's perfect and uh, let's see if we can sometimes it just doesn't want to give you the option to make it a spline if that's in few cases it's okay it's not going to change them. so it doesn't want to do it now so it's I guess it's fine the best thing to do is, is make it almost like that um, but so here we see it's going to be okay now even though it's really really good now I think I'm, I'm happy enough with the result I I want it's too boring that it just goes in. I want I want some movement, like uh, one more interesting. So what we're gonna do? The final thing we're gonna do is gonna take two seconds. Is just go to go to camera. Uh, the camera let's just it's fine enough as it's here, but we just want to right click, or I at least want to right click, and you should too if you want if you want some motion, and you go to Cinema 4D tags. Then you want to go down to Comp sorry, that's another you want to go down to vibrate. Once that's done, you want to click on vibrate. You want to en enable position and change so you want some seeds. Now this bait is gonna give it a regular pulse, like it's actually moving the camera. You don't want it to move too much one direction. And we I basically just want it to be equal on each direction. So I'll just have like 15, 15, 15. I think that's a good number. Um, it's not too much, but it still gives a little effect. The sad thing with this one is, though, if you have a lot of frames, each frame's different, so you can't copy and paste uh, the frames and fast, fastly render it. Here, you'll have to render each frame. So now we have this. Basically, it's good enough. It'll be that the whole scene. We have everything done. Ba 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 bam have everything here don't want to go up here let's just save it just to make sure we don't lose this progress and we want to go up here where there's a little thing <laughs> and click here and if you want the best the best quality I suggest would be 1920 by 1080p if you want a bit faster process you should go to uh, sorry 1280 by 720 it will be a, it will not be, it will be a, a bit 
worse quality, but not not so you can really notice it. But uh, then you you go here to uh, frame range, and you go to from zero, and you click two to the end of where you want to finish it, and it'll be three hundred thirty. Then we have this. You want to go to. I already have it set, and you'll also have it set if you download this Lightroom. But ambient inclusion, global illumination. If you have any glows on your material, you want this checked as well. Um, you want if you want to get it really good, you want to go to where it says anti uh, aliasing <laughs> or whatever it is. You want to go to geometry and click best. Then you also want to go to where is it? Okay, well that that's actually good enough. That's good enough, and you can set the minimum level to two two times two, if you want. I don't I don't do that because it will take a lot a longer time, and you can make the quality much better in Sony Vegas, for example, or Premiere or any other program. So now we have this. It's basically as simple as going to save. We want it as PNG, and we want it saved as Alpha Channel. Clicked. And these clicked, of course, but these will all, these will all automatically be clicked or checked. Then you want to go here over here with the three dots. You want to click here, and we're gonna make a new folder at the desktop. We're gonna call it yeah uh, jazz. Oh, this jazz intro separate files. 